African Americans make up less than 10% of Major League Baseball rosters, the RBI League is helping to renew interest in the game among black youth. It's a league that former Baltimore Black Sox player Rap Dixon would be very proud of. And this past weekend, former Orioles and Negro League players gathered in Steelton, Pennsylvania to pay tribute to his legacy. Few have done for Major League Baseball what Jackie Robinson has. But while his play set the foundation for today's baseball, it also brought an end to a league full of Jackie caliber players. Last week, former Major and Negro League players gathered at historic Midland Cemetery to honor one of these men, former Baltimore Black Sox outfielder Herbert Rap Dixon. Well, I'm here to um, kind of help um, his legacy along um, inner city kids. They don't know much about the uh, Negro League because it uh, evaporated so quick. And after Jackie came through, then it you know, kind of vanished. So um, we need to let them know about the history of the Black Baseball League. Rap is just one piece of that Negro League history that also includes Hall of Famers Satchel Paige, Josh Gibson, and Cool Papa Bell. During his 16-year career, Rap went down in the record books as he recorded 14 consecutive hits and became the first black player ever to hit a home run in Yankee Stadium. It's an extensive resume, but his supporters say it's missing one essential accolade. For every 150 games this guy played, he hit 315, 16 homers, 26 steals, and 125 runs scored. Those kind of statistics are better than three-fifths of the outfielders in the Hall of Fame that played in that same period of time. Rap Dixon was, should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, he put up good numbers, he was a good ball player, and he was a team player, and we're going to hope someday that Rap gets in the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. That's just one message Negro League player William Fordham brought with him to Rapp's graveside rededication last week. The other? A message for today's African-American youth. It's one that is shared by former Orioles Paul Blair and Kurt Moten. It's a great game, and I look around and I see all these youngsters here, and I can only say this. If you have the ability, pursue it, because not only is it a wonderful way to make a living, it's a wonderful way to make a contribution to your community, to your state, and to your nation. Baseball is really the only sport that's fair. It doesn't care if you're 4-2 or 7-2. It depends on your heart and your ability and your desire to want to play this game of baseball. And we need to get some more black young baseball players in the game of baseball. We seem to be losing them now. But you have to understand that Rap and uh, Josh Gibson and Satchel Paige, they paved the way for us. We got to keep the legacy going and keep everything going the way they intended it to go. As members of the Orioles in the late 60s and early 70s, Blair and Moten both won World Series rings. It's something they say they never would have been able to accomplish without the strides made by those who came before them. What they did and the groundwork that they laid, and certainly uh, the groundwork that Mr. Dixon laid, for Paul, myself, and all the other minorities that are in baseball today. Uh, without their ability, their dedication, and their drive to prove to everybody in the world that they can play baseball as well as anybody on the planet. This summer, the Orioles will help celebrate the 75th anniversary of the 1932 Baltimore Black Sox championship season. That year, the Black Sox were in first place with a 20-9 record when the league was disbanded in June. Although they were credited with the championship, they never received proper recognition. Join the Orioles on September 6th as they take on the Boston Red Sox and do their part to honor the legacy of these great men. Orioles players and coaches will wear 1932 Baltimore Black Sox replica uniforms during the game and standout players from that season will be honored in a pregame ceremony.